The Lansing area is full of beautiful murals, but have you ever stopped to think who exactly is putting them up? Today, I'm introducing you to a man who's behind a couple of them. He's hoping to inspire the community one spray paint can at a time. On the side of the Temple Lost building in Old Town, you'll find Dustin Hunt spray painting away. It's pretty invigorating to be up there painting. At first glance, your eyes will draw to the bright colors and then move to random doodles. But soon they will go hand in hand to create a nod to, to what Old Town used to be. He's currently working on a mural that features his friend's son and focuses on the Mexican American history. So it's all about like him building with his heritage and history. And what he's doing, he's actually building an Aztec feather serpent out of like Legos. But all the Legos are related to Old Town. So they're all about like Old Town businesses that have been here for 50 plus years. But this mural is just one of many for the former classroom art teacher. I think I have uh, maybe 10 in the area. I have some at over at Sexton High School, um, Salas Center, um, downtown Old Town. I worked in alternative high schools, middle schools, for 10 years teaching art and design. I taught here in Lansing for a bit, Chicago, Portland, Minneapolis, and I decided to, to just step out and focus on art. And for the past four years, he's been doing just that. Working on community-based murals and student-centered murals through his small business, Muralmatics. A lot of times I'll bring in an apprentice to, to help me out with big walls, or I'll work with student groups to also knock out really big walls with them. That he hopes will inspire and inform not only adults, but the younger generation as well. And part of that is using really bright colors um, and working with spray paint. He'll be done painting this mural in Old Town by the end of the week and we'll be working on some projects in the spring of 2023. But until then, he's excited to see his artwork take over. I always tell folks these murals like really come to life in the winter time when everything else is like dormant and gray. With their colors and vibrancy.